All right, everybody, this is Nick. You can see me in the uh, mirror of the glass over here. Uh, good friend, um, Cody, who runs 904 Pinzine over on uh, Facebook and all those other great places. Uh, he's out in Jacksonville. He asked me to do a walkthrough tour of the Pinball Dudes here on 880 Jupiter Park Drive. It is uh, Thursday as I'm doing this video. Um, just gonna let you know, it is, uh, we got a lot of stuff that's shipping out. So when I come here on Saturday, this lineup is going to look completely different. There's Mr. Chris down there working on some games. So let's go off and show off some of the games. So first off, we got the Miss Pac-Man that's been here. Um, it's got a little bit of problems. Uh, the, the, the monitor's in pretty good shape. It's wavy, but um, the game keeps resetting. But I want to show off one thing. I get it. Sorry for the camera work. I don't want to get the phone number because I don't know if the phone number's still in service. But it says... Amityville, New York. So this game came from Long Island. It's got a 631 area code on it. So um, supposedly the guy that owned this um, lived on Long Island, bought the, bought this in a Bally Star Trek, moved to Pennsylvania, and then brought it to uh, here, where I guess he retired and he doesn't want it anymore. So we got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Pro. Um, we had to take a part off of it for a customer for one of their machines. So right now it's not working and it just has the, uh, the moving blankets on it, which, uh, you'll see in a while because we got about six games that are going to be going out. Uh, we got Guardians of the Galaxy Premium is back. Um, this is the same Guardians Premium that we took a video of recently. Um, got the, uh, all the upgrades on it. It's got the mirrored glass. It's got the mirrored side art. Um the little flipper bats on it and of course a little root head but I went on and I put the um, custom code update from the guy over at Pinside I forget his name but it adds back in the original actor's speech and it also adds back in the music that was that is missing in the game like it's got come and get your love and stuff like that when you do uh, the uh, Pulse Quest multi-ball mode so it's really nice to have that music back in but it screws with uh, YouTube's copyright, so I'm not gonna be able to play it unless I take it out and uh, put the old code back in. So we've got a Black Knight Pro. I recently just did a, uh, waxed the whole machine, so now it's playing fast and mean. And um, that new topper is coming out over, uh, if you saw the pictures and the videos from the um, Chicago Expo that they have out there, the Pinball Expo. Uh, brand new Black Knight topper. It looks absolutely amazing. And they said that they're going to change the code, get rid of the uh, the looping play field that uh, people were just brutalizing. So hopefully that comes out soon. You know, Tim and the guys are working on that. We got Deadpool. We plan on flooding the whole peninsula of Florida with Deadpool machines because I know for, uh, for Eric, it's one of our most favorite games here at the Pinball Dudes. And I'm pretty sure will always have Deadpool as long as they keep making it. So probably have one that might, might just stay stay here. I don't think Eric will ever want to get rid of it, but amazing playing pro game. Guys got to play it. I mean, they added in the um, all the updates where you can stack modes on. It's absolutely great. So we've got Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast. This is the pro model. Keep that one's first game. Very, very nice game. Everybody knows this game. It's brutal, it's fast, it's a lot of fun. Still have over here number 200 of Elvira's House of Horrors. This is the limited edition. And they just showed off on um, Facebook's, not on uh, Instagram, uh, Jeffrey Starr got his um, signature edition. They only made 50 signature editions. So I really didn't notice looking at the video that he shared in the photos of what really made it uh, signature except for the um, for the placard and it had like a thing that said Elvira sign this or Elvira touch this. I don't know. Um, the Jurassic Park uh, LE sold, so we had to open up one of the Jurassic Park Pros. And you're probably saying to yourself, where's Jurassic Park Premium? Well, all those sold. I think we got, um... hey Chris, how many uh, Jurassic Park Premiums did we get in? Was it five or six? On the first lot that came in the truck, we had five. Uh, three were damaged, had to go back. Uh, and all five were claimed, so yeah. we're kind of behind the eight ball. Yep, so there you go. So that's why uh, we have Jurassic Park Pro out and not the premium. We have Game of Thrones. This is the Pro. Now, they made, they uh, released a small run of Game of Thrones right after um, that big massive code update. 
Uh, guest recently bought one in the box, so uh, we have this one left. We got a Munsters black and white premium. Thank God it's the black and white. I uh, know they recently made a color version of the premium because some people complained about the black and white. They didn't like the black and white. I love the black and white. I think it looks amazing well, on it. And um, they've got a new topper coming out for Munsters. It's got the uh, it's got the clock with the raven that pops out, and I hope it's going to be like one of those old clocks that they used to have, like uh, one of those Mickey Mouse watches that would teach how to teach the little kids how to tell time. Where it's like the time is now five thirty eight p.m. like that. So hopefully it'll do that. We got a Ghostbusters Pro that was traded in. Um, you're going to be seeing a video on this. Um, What's funny is a guest bought the topper. We, they had the topper on the Pro, and someone bought the topper. But uh, this one, you can see someone put in, is this called the Dream Buster? So yeah, it adds a center post into it. And also, I guess it has a thing over there where it says, who are you going to call? I guess people are having problems with that over there. But um, the new code is really good. Um, they did make it a little bit easier. Um to get to modes and go through all the games and edit it uh, a couple new lines from some of the movies so it's pretty good we got uh black rose and they put a nice color changer in there there she is played really good i mean we just took it out of the box and it's playing really good uh one game that's going to be leaving us is uh whodunit this one just recently sold like i said you know there's about six games in here that are already sold and they're going Thank you, Eric. We got the Sopranos in here. We're working on. The Sopranos came out of a bar, so it's smelled like uh, cigars, but... Uh, it smelled like a Soprano should smell. Yep. Out of the box. Out of the box. Regret and bars. Yep. So, and then next to it is George Gomez's Transformers. This is the pro model. We use this in the tournaments an awful lot, and... Uh, it's a great game to use in tournaments because the ball times are very, very short. People curse themselves when they play Transformers. Uh, we got a Super Mario Bros. we're working on. You can see there's uh, Bowser's Castle. We got a Mushroom World over here set up on the adult site. Let's go over here. We got ID4 that we're working on. It's like the second ID4 that we've had. This is Eric's um, personal attack from Mars we have in here. Very nice that... Uh, working on led'd it out gets the new stickers on there you got the sticker over here on the uh for the martian original for you purists yes we do have a uh i'll show you when i go back over the line but uh we got a getaway original getaway i like this it's got the um the donut shop mod that goes over where the um the ball lock is the donut heaven and now i've seen some other people that have made um this on supposedly on the um, prototypes, it had a it had a mountain over there that went over the um, the supercharger. So some people make a mod that um, brings the mountain back. So I guess it's just like a three D printing of it. Got a Starship Troopers, a Sega one. This one has all the toys on it. Because what what did a rated R movie need? It needed toys. So they from Galoob. Another Super Mario Brothers. Another Batman. We got Batman over here. Uh, this Lord of the Rings is sold. Um, hopefully it'll be shipping out soon. We got a Miss Pac-Man cocktail table. And a 14 Tomcat. And hanging out over here, um, someone traded in a uh, Deadpool Pro. So he's hanging out. He's for sale. And that is a Star Wars limited edition that um, I actually sold. Go me. We got a Rockola jukebox over here. I'm pretty sure this is Eric's. Um, that's a Star Wars cabinet that's damaged. Um, Stern was great and they sent us a brand new cabinet and we swapped the cabinet out. So the cabinet's still there. Um, Captain Fantastic that they're working on. And that is a cabaret of the Miss Pac-Man and Galaga Pac-Man combo unit. Um, right now the screen is dead. So, um, you guys know how to work on a CRT monitor. Fred sent the chassis out. Okay, cool. So we got Super Mario Brothers, another one back here. And then the same guy that traded in that um, Pac-Man had a roller coaster tycoon. And this thing cleaned up really good. I mean, it was in the guy's home. I think he was the original owner. 
was. Yep, didn't have a lot of play on it. Got the troll. But they always had different color trolls, so that one has a black troll. I've seen like multicolored trolls. Another Batman in here. It's been around because we got another game. Got a Monday Night Football over here that we're working on. Data East Monday Night Football. There's a Star Wars Comic Pro. That's another Adams family. We got like yeah, we got like four Adams families in here. So we got um, yeah, Skelligan's Island is here. Now, people will know online, one uh, random fact about it, Gilligan's Island was the first game that was designed with the dot matrix display on it, but the uh, folks over at Terminator ended up beating them out the gate by like a few weeks, so uh, most people think Terminator was the first one that Bally and Williams did with the um, thing on there, so. Another little fact, uh, Marion is hotter than Ginger. Yes. I agree. And we got uh, South Park now. Our, we, we have a customer named uh, Joe, or no, 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 John, that had been asking for a South Park for a long time. So we're going to have this, uh, hopefully get this up together and try to fix it up and see how good it is. <laughs> we'll see. We got... Howdy ho! Gosh, you're looking swell. Now we got a Tales from the Crypt, but I have to show it off because... Got a little shout out to YouTube Land. Yeah, it's this was a Todd Tucky game, TNT Amusements, and uh, from what I was told um, from the guys that they'll run across a couple of uh, TNT Amusement games yeah, here. They yes, they do. Yep. Everybody loves Uncle Todd. So we got Evil Knievel, 1977. Got to think about when this came out. You know, the people getting wowed from Star Wars, and then Evil Knievel came. So this is the solid state one. There were a short run of uh, electromechanical ones. Um, they have the electromechanical one at the um, Silver Bowl Hall of Fame up in down down in Delray Beach in Florida. You got a Williams Flash from the King himself, from Mr. Steve Ritchie. That's a um, Matahari that's getting worked on. And before we show off the Matahari, we're going to show off the new in box games that we have we have a kiss um cabinet that uh working on we've got a deadpool pro jurassic there's three jurassic park pros there's one on the other side so there's one two and we got star wars comic pro iron maiden pro and another star wars comic pro the centaur has sold she'll be leaving us tomorrow check out the black hole because no one escapes the black hole oh one and it's everybody's favorite to work on. Really cool. Um, the guys over in... Um, somebody brought one of the 10 crawl machines to um, the Pinball Expo out in Chicago. Really cool to see crawl because I still remember when I started YouTube, uh, one, of the, one of the people on YouTube would ask me constantly, have you ever played crawl from Gottlieb? And I would look it up and I was just like, no, I've never seen that before. And I'm pretty sure he told me that he played it as a kid. So maybe he was lucky and got to play it at one of the um, arcades that had it as a test. But they decided after the 10 units not to go through with it because a, another triple tier playfield game was a bad idea. So these are not plugged in at the moment, but we can get the extension cord later. Um, we got the last of the Star Wars comic premiums. I was telling a guy like, if you want the Star Wars comic premium, you better buy it now because it's just gonna, it's just gonna leave. It's gonna get sold. So, right now you're looking at the final one. Um, we have a kiss. This is the pro kiss. We had an LE kiss too, running at the same time. And people down here, they love kiss. And every time we get a kiss, most yeah, most people love kiss. Chris doesn't like kiss. We got a Phantom of the Opera. Look at that. This, this one is in great, great shape. Uh, still working. Working on it. Trying to get some stuff worked out. The music on this is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, being a Data East game of this era, it's basically Spell, Spell Phantom by shooting the ramp over and over again. And you can shoot in the magic mirror and 5x five, five the value. Oh, here it comes. Sorry. I yeah. can't let you do a video. Oh. 
Yeah, turn this. One of my favorites. And we got it. We got it set really, really loud. Oh, it's not. Oh yeah, it's not plugged in. Here we go. Hey. Anyway. There it is. I'm gonna play it one handed. Okay. No, I can't play it one handed. Alright, guys. All right, we got F14 Tomcat that just sold. I mean, so I'm gonna take the because uh, when we have tournaments here, we leave like it's all it'll say three balls, you know, uh, play your extra balls if it's something that we can't turn off. This one's really cool. It has the um, I never I've never seen this before, but someone made a um, upgrade thing for this that shows it says you know kill generally I go up and then has has them laughing, and then it says uh, fighter jackpot multi ball ready. I think that was really cool because on the this original F14 Tomcats, it's all just, it's just clear plastic. And then it says lift off on there for it. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then we got Harley Davidson. This is a Bally Harley Davidson. And I always wondered why I always saw this game up in New Hampshire, up, up in Laconia, because guess what? The final mode of the game is to get to Laconia Bike Week. You start off at Los Angeles, you go to Salt Lake, you go to Talladega, you go to Daytona, go to New York, but you want to get to Laconia. And that actually says New York City, and it says Laconia Sturges. So it's got all the big bike rallies that all the Harley guys go to. This thing has a shaker in it, and man, does this thing kick. It's really <laughs> like that. And we got a, uh, recently got traded in a teed off. Unfortunately, it's missing the little gopher topper, but other than that, it's in uh, really good condition. The previous owner went through and LED'd it all out. And like like I've said, another game, unfortunately, you cannot play because it's got the progressive stuff where you spell out skins and you also spell out gopher. So if you get all of gopher, you get a whole uh, big multi-ball mode that, you know, it's not there. So we don't leave it in. Go where uh, they were in the Palm Beach Post. And we got some uh, Elvira stuff. Got Elvira translates. Um, here is the... Um, this is the night moves that uh, we're waiting to get the parts for and uh, going to fix that up. And then um, three games that I passed over that we were uh, getting ready to ship out. Um, we've got Apollo 13. And as I've said before, you look at the back list and guess who said no to using their likeness? Which was funny because there's this um, like, there's like a thing, I forget what uh, channel it was on. I think it was on um, A&E. And they were talking about like uh, like the beginning of pinball and all that other stuff, and it's like the story of pinball. And they're interviewing the artist that was doing doing Apollo 13, and you actually get to see the um, the the prototype um, backlash for it that had Tom Hanks on it. And then they he got the call and said, "We can't use Tom Hanks." And it's like, well, "What are we gonna do?" And it's like, "Well, you ever see the photos when you know Neil Armstrong was on the moon? You can't see their face in it because of the reflection." So it's like. That's what they decided to do. So it's Tom Hanks, but it's not Tom Hanks. And we got a nice junkyard that just uh, sold. It's really nice. I mean, it's got the um, it's got the side art on it that uh, my friend Joe from Pin Graphics. Pretty sure that's from Pin Graphics. It was really, really nice. And uh, this is the Adams family that we have all blinged out and the uh, the Ghostbuster topper. And then you can see some of the other parts that we have up there. Whole bunch of stuff. So, by the time I get here on Saturday, it's going to be totally different in here. Because, like I said, stuff sells fast here. And with the holidays coming up, it's going to be even faster with all the other stuff selling out. So, there is a look at your pinball dudes lineup here. So, once again, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you're ever in the Jupiter area, be sure to give us a call. We'll be here, and you can... Uh, Come in, play all the games that are on for free, and uh, take care. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you later.